Thank you for coming. It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. I brought you here for a simple purpose. I need you to kill the friggin' bat. Yeah, you heard me right. You probably already know, but let me introduce myself. I think that manners are important, don't you? You can call me Thorn. Mr. Thorn will do just fine. Now I run this little crap hole of a town, Gotham. Morning, day, and night. There ain't nothing that goes on in this town that I don't know about. But something's been happening lately. Something's been uh, digging into my business, and I can't have that. So, what I need is I need somebody who can take out the bat. You heard about this guy? Yeah, he's a real pain in my side. So just the other day, down at the docks, my crew was bringing in about a hundred kilo, some of the good stuff, China White. And what happens? What happens? Suddenly, Jimmy, he disappears, just gone. Now the other guys, they call out, they say, hey, Jimmy, quit screwing around, get back over here. What do you think happens? Thump. Suddenly Tommy's gone. Half the crew is out in 30 seconds. Nobody knows what's going on. Now, my crew ain't stupid. They pull out the heat. They let everybody know, hey, you better stop screwing around. We're going to start filling this dock full of lead. We ain't worried about gunshots. Cops don't come down by the docks. That's when it happened. And Sammy, Sammy, he's got his gun out. And suddenly, this little, little dagger-like thing, little, little weird little thing just hits him right in where the wrist goes in. He screams, he drops it. He's yelling bloody murder, there's blood everywhere. Now, that's when, that's when little Tim Tim, you know little Tim Tim, he's nuts. He's about six foot seven, built like a brick. And he pulls out his Tommy gun. He's a traditionalist, he likes the old stuff, what can I say? And he just lights up all of the docks, butter, 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 butter. If there was a single living thing there, it's gotta be cut to shreds. Now, he waits, the smoke's rising up, He's looking around, he don't see nothing. But then he feels something. I mean, he feels something behind him. He turns around, what does Tommy see? What does little Tim Tim see? He sees a friggin' monster. There is this creature with this crazy face and these haunting white eyes. He is trying to reload his Tommy gun. He realizes he ain't got time, so he's trying to pull out his piece. And this thing reaches down and just strikes him. Strikes Tim Tim right in the throat. He's coughing, he's gagging, he turns, he pukes. And suddenly this guy, he lifts up a foot and kicks. Kicks him just so precisely. That Tim Tim, guy is built like a tank, goes down without a second. Now, under a minute and a half, my entire unloading crew is down and out. The only reason I know about any of this is because the people unloading from the ship. Now they is freaking out. Now they don't, they don't speak a whole lot of English, but they see this monster. They see exactly what he does. And they are freaked out. They throw down their weapons. They throw up their hands like little babies. And before long, they's all tied up. The police are there in no time. First of all, I don't even know why the police came. It must be this new captain. You've heard of this Gordon guy? We're gonna talk about him later. But he comes, he arrests my crew, he arrests the dock workers. All of that 100 kilos is taken. And I'm out big time. I got, I run this place. 
I got business arrangements, you understand? I got friends in high places. And those friends, they don't particularly like it when I don't come through with the money for these items. So everybody is unhappy. So we're gonna work on seeing if we can lay our hands on that in evidence. I got a few guys with the Gotham police that I think maybe we can get a hold of it. But that's not the point, that's not the point. The point is we got a bad problem and I need an exterminator. So what I wanna know is are you the guy I can count on to take care of this for me. I heard some good things. I heard that you got the muscle. I heard that you got the know-how. I heard that you can do it. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? You know where the bat is? Well, that's great. That's great. So here's this. I'm paying 50 million if you can kill the bat. You gotta bring me evidence. You gotta bring me his cow. Whatever that stupid thing is on his head, I don't care if he's a monster. If he's a monster, you cut it off. If he's just a man, you take it off, but you pull it off his corpse. I want evidence that he's dead, and I wanna be holding that cow. You understand me? That is my condition, and I will just be happy to transfer that 50 million to whichever bank account you want. Or if you like it in cash, I'm old school, I understand. I'll make that happen too. But I also want you to understand, Mr. Thorne, I don't put up with anyone who's a thorn in my side. I don't put up with no bat. And I don't put up with people who don't come true. So if you say that you're gonna go out there and you're gonna deliver me the bat, you better do it. But don't ever show your face in this town again. You understand me? Now, you say you know where the bat is. And tell me, what do you know? Okay, so he does wear a cow. That's nice to know, it's a costume. Very cool, very cool. What else do you know? All right, so he's got cool gizmos. I, I, that makes sense. A little thingy through in my buddy's hand and swinging all around and all that kind of stuff. It, you know, I, I mean, come on. Like somebody can fly, this ain't Metropolis. You know, he's just a man. That means you can definitely can take him out and I'll be more than happy to pay you. What do you mean? You already got things sorted out. What you got in that bag there? Is that Batman's cowl? That's crazy. You've already taken care of things? Wait. You got his belt too? That's awesome. Tell you what. Give you a cool million extra if you let me have that. Okay, okay, hey, don't get, don't get sore. But, uh, I gotta know. I gotta know. How did you take him out? Really? You followed him back to his lair? He lives in a cave? That's crazy. I guess some people just really like to be on thing. And that's where you found the cow. That's great. And you were able to uh, take care of him? All right, all right. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the money now. Hey, Billy, you take care of that for me. You just tell me, give him the information. What's that, Billy? Billy says that just went into an orphan fund? Are you, are you doing fundraising now? That's kind of funny. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean you're gonna do something with the cow? You're gonna put it on? Oh crap. 
You're not matches. You're the bat. Mommy. Hey, can I count on you to take out the bat? If you want to see more of these role plays, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe right over here. Check out another Batman video. I got more. I got, I got tons. What do you want? Bada bing, bada boom. I take care of you. Yay. You have a good day.